Dowsing L. Rods, Triangulation Method Before you watch this video, I highly suggest that you should watch the previous video, where we discussed the topic about, how to properly use, a Dowsing L. Rod tool. What, I am about to introduce to you on this video, is a simple Dowsing L. Rod technique on how you can accurately locate the digging spot of your buried, or hidden target. It is called, triangulation method, because you will be covering your prospected area, by dowsing three different spots that form a triangle. Let's start. On your site, choose any random spot as your starting point to douse. Let's say that this is your first spot. Now, determine the direction with the strongest pull, and take note of it. You can use a rope, or long straight stick, to lay it on the ground. Let's say that on this illustration, the pointer arms of your L rods are being pulled, towards the southeast direction. Now, move to your next spot. On this illustration, let's say that you moved towards the east side, a few feet away from your first spot. I really do not recommend dowsing while walking at the same time. It's because your body movements can actually cause unnecessary movement to your tool, which makes it inaccurate and unstable. So on your second spot, determine the direction with the strongest pull of your target. On this illustration, let's say that, your L rod's pointer arms, are still being pulled towards the southeast side of your area. If this is the case then, you need to move further, more to the east side. So on this illustration, let's say that you moved another several feet away, and then you doused. But this time, the pointer arms of your L rods are now pointing, towards the southwest direction. Just like what you did from your first spot, use a rope, or stick to mark the direction that you got. Your third spot, is going to be on the south portion of your area, which is the estimated tip of your triangular spots formation. So let's assume that this is your third spot, and you got a strong pull of direction towards the north portion of your site. Now, through this illustration, you can easily plot the center spot, which will be your digging spot. However, you still need to make sure, so what you have to do is to repeat the whole procedure, but on a closer spot towards the center, as shown on this illustration. You can repeat it several times until you are completely satisfied with your result. Did you enjoy, watching my video? If yes, and if you are new to my channel, then, you may want to subscribe, like this video, and hit the small notification bell icon. By subscribing, and hitting the bell icon, you will receive alerts, or, notifications about my new published videos. If you want a reading material, about treasure hunting, then, you may want to visit my blogging website at, treasurehunt.club. Thank you very much for watching, and happy treasure hunting.